here. And that's the island of our, if of the six cars away. And we stay lonely here and feel sometimes boring and this kita make it with a shell of a coconut and a piece of timber and this is a string. That's a wire found it from, from the boat here, from the beach. And the timber? Where did you find that timber? The timber from the boat. From the wreck? Yeah. And what is that? And that's it's the key, that's a little piece of wood. And it's possible to make it more tight? Yeah. You still remember your song, Colo? Yes. We were experimenting with some fishing gear five or six miles off the island of Arta, which we thought was uninhabited, had been for the last 60 or 70 years. I noticed a black patch against the green background on the hills. I thought that's strange that a fire should start in the tropics on an uninhabited island. So we decided to investigate further and after we'd finished our fishing experiment we went in close to the island. The lookout on the mast said, I hear a human voice. I didn't believe it was a human voice. I said, oh that's the birds, you're crazy, it's not a human voice. So we went closer and closer slowed down and we saw this brown figure coming down jumping down to the rocks and into the sea and doing a very nice swim out towards us so I said, this is this is strange this island maybe they keep it as a prison for the worst criminals and uh, cast them out here it's, we loaded the, the, the rifles ready to uh, for whatever would happen then this young man swam alongside and said in perfect English, I am one of six castaways. We think we have been here for one and a half years. Who was that? That was Fatai. So I, I don't believe it, but I better let them come aboard. So we put the boarding ladder. And your down, rifle was ready. And the rifle was down, but hidden behind me. So these six naked youths came on board. They looked completely wild. They hadn't had a hair cut for a long time. Naked? Yeah, naked, completely. Not a stitch of hair, nothing left. Then they told us their story, which I didn't believe. And I said, well, put your name down on a piece of paper. Let me write your name. Called up to the operator at New Palofa Radio and said, would you mind calling up St Andrews College? Yes, I'll do that. Stand by. After 20 minutes, very tearful operator came back on the radio and in amongst his tears he said it's true these boys have been given up for dead funerals have been held and uh, now you've found them 